Hey everyone, welcome. Uh, this is Nicholas Wilton at Art to Life. Uh, thanks so much for being here. It's, uh, it's just great. We get this time on Sundays to connect and, uh, and share stuff. So I got a cool thing that I want to share with you. It's a new tool that I found. And never, you know whenever you find some cool thing, you're like, I don't want to tell anyone about this, uh, but I'm gonna, because it's, uh, it's, really, it's really great. It's a floor scraper. And uh, I actually got it up in, uh, well, I got it up in Chico, California, but there's a link down below where you can get these. There's all kinds of amazing tools that when people are putting finishes on floors and uh, s taking large areas of urethane and squeegeeing it out, if you're work large like I do, it's, you can't find these tools in ordinary hardware stores. So check this out. This is a rubber squeegee, and it is, but it's serrated, and you, so it kind of puts these little lines in your work. Um, and I drag it through, white, through uh, wet paint, I'll show you. But what's cool uh, is you can get these with different size uh, grooves in it. But it's rubber, so it goes across the surface, and it's just really great. So check this out. This is how I use it, and I laid the painting flat, so it's just to make it easier. So I'll paint an area, and then, so that's the tool. See that, isn't that great? And then, um, and then I just, it's rubber, and you can just scrape across. And then the, uh, the, the stuff that's underneath kind of comes through. And it's just a it's, like a, it's like a squeegee, but it takes off some of the paint and not all. It leaves this really amazing pattern of lines. So um, yeah, and then I just make sure you wipe that off if you're using oil paint like I am, uh, just so it doesn't dry on there and clog that up. And let me, let me know in the comments, like what, what tools you guys use for these large, larger paintings, you know, because again, it's like it's the squeegees and things that you just, you need jumbo size everything. Um, so let me know in the comments, let us know in the comments, share what you're working on. And uh, this week on the podcast, oh, I am talking to Alice Konevsky. Uh, this guy's work is amazing. And I fo followed his work forever. I couldn't, con couldn't really believe that he uh, took time to uh, talk to me. I mean, I just, I'm, I'm sort of intimidated. He's so good. <laughs> uh, but no, he's the sweetest guy. He's, he was born in Russia and he lives in the United States now. And his work's figurative. It's abstract. It's loose. It's so, so good. And uh, just, it's, it's amazing. Just if you, you, when you get up close and you look at this work and from a distance, he's just a master of value and precision and his design's incredible. One of the highlights of the conversation, just to like spoiler alert, he, I was saying like, what's hard for you? You know, because that's always a good question. You think these guys are so amazing, you know, these artists that are so far along and, but they're struggling just like we are. And, and, he, and he was saying, you know what's hard? Because there's two hardest things in art making. He said, um, honesty and freedom. Just like such a great answer. And he goes, uh, the, the challenge with honesty is to be honest about what you're doing, right? To like really, really make what you feel you need to make. Forget about everybody else, right? Like that's super, super hard. And then he said, and the freedom, the freedom's hard because you have to be able to give yourself the freedom to do it. You got to not care about what other people think. And I just, or, or whatever, the market or what people have bought in the past, those two things, honesty and freedom, that's the kind of sampling of, of the wisdom of Alex. It's, it was, it's a great uh, conversation. So click on the link below and uh, come along and have a listen. You guys, thanks so much for being here. And I hope you're, I hope Sunday's awesome for you and you, you can get into the studio. And uh, I will talk to you real soon. Oh, and by the way, you might have seen a few of um, some of the coaches from Art to Life who are popping in and doing some things. Um, it's just kind of mixing it up a little, and I, I hope you're enjoying that. Uh, everyone knows so many different things, and it's just helpful to like mix it up some. So that's why uh, you know we've had some coaches and different artists come in and, and do these because there's a ton to learn. Thanks again. Okay, bye.